Hi everybody, uh, welcome to Willie's Guitars. You know, if you're like me, you probably have a few old amplifiers around, and um, sometimes you'll put them into storage and you'll forget. Uh, so when you pull those amplifiers back out again, I've got some advice for you. Get yourself a Variac. This is a Variac, so I'm, I'm gonna turn this on, and then I'm gonna pull out. This is my old 1948 Fender Princeton. And the Princeton, of course, had a volume and tone. And uh, this is a rare amplifier. We're gonna put this up for sale, but this hasn't been on in seven years. So what I'm afraid of is that the filter caps in here, if I were to just plug this in, even if I turn the volume down to zero, if I plugged it in and turn it on, it's all these uh, components are gonna get an electrical shock and it's like starting your day without coffee. They need a little bit of easing in. So you take your Variac, you turn it down, you plug in your amplifier, you turn it on. Now you'll notice it's so low there's no pilot light, but I'm gonna bring up that Variac a little bit and I'm gonna let it sit. And I'm gonna let the juice from here, this is going to be 25 volts. Most tube amplifiers are 20% uh, of their power they draw from the wall. Their efficiency is about 20%. So if you look on back of an old amplifier and it says 110 volts draw on the back, it's about 20% of that. That's about a 20 watt amplifier. But for these old amplifiers, you want to ease them in. I will leave this like this for a while. And again, what I'm using is a Variac, and that is a variable AC. So I've plugged this into the wall. I bought this on Amazon for fairly cheap and I'm going to gently raise the output and here now that I have it to about 40 volts it is starting to illuminate that. Down here you can see it'll just disappear. So the tubes are just starting to get a little bit of juice. There's just a little bit of juice in this circuit. For any old amplifiers, especially older amplifiers that you haven't used in a while, that maybe you use as display, you want to buy yourself a variable AC. You don't need a heavy duty one, you just need one that um, can do this for you. This is a fairly heavy duty one, and again, this is plugged into the wall, now this is there, these are fairly heavy things, and we're gently introducing. I'll leave this for about 10-15 minutes, turn it up a little bit. All in all, for me, this takes about a half hour to gently introduce power into this. That way, if I had just plugged it in, I might actually blow the filter caps, and the filter caps would have to be replaced. Your filter caps are these cans about this size that vary the AC. They hold, they hold power and they release it a little bit at a time. So you want to get those, um, they're, they're paper and they dry out. You want to get them, get them juiced up a little bit. Also, if you're dealing with your old Fender amplifiers like this, this amplifier we just got in, that is a 1963 basement with a master presence control. And uh, this is a really cool amplifier from a really great era. Rough Tolex, brown um, faceplate, and the master presence, which is a negative feedback loop. And this is something that Fender quit doing later on because it's kind of an expensive feature, but that makes this amplifier legendary. We just took the cover off this amplifier after about 10 years. We did introduce it. Just to warn you, never ever plug in a head without plugging in a speaker cabinet. You don't want to turn that on and the amp has nowhere to go with its juice because it'll go back into the circuit. So do treat your heads with extra care if you haven't plugged them in in a long time. You probably want to get yourself a Variac. No, we don't sell them. We just advise them. Okay, so there you go. Got some cool amps that come in. You can see these are, are coming in. Here is a 1946 Gibson amplifier. This is a Magnetone amplifier here, a Supro, actually. Uh, Supro Super with a 9-inch speaker. 
I own this personally. Ah, oh, what a great sounding amplifier and something that looks good on a belt bookshelf. And then the Melody King is coming up for sale too. Those were Dickerson made. Dickerson eventually turned into Magnetone. That is one of the earliest tube amps and it's in fantastic condition. And again, when we plug in our amps, Variac, Variac, Variac. Okay, there you go. There's a word from the collectible corner of Willie's Guitars. Don't forget to vary your AC so you don't blow up those cool old amps. That's all for now. See you later.